what you're looking at was caused by winter storm Yuri, but it is not snow. It's sealing insulation. Basically what caused it was we had a sprinkler pipe upstairs that completely burst because it was too cold and who knows how long it was flooding and just flooded the whole house. There was probably two, three inches of water everywhere. Uh, the walls were soaked, the ceiling had caved in, there was drywall insulation everywhere. It was absolutely insane. I, it, it was like a surreal experience just to walk in and look up and realize that the ceiling was on the floor and there was water everywhere and we were just kind of running around like crazy trying to grab our stuff um, and, and get out. They were eight roommates with no home and they knew couch surfing couldn't last forever. It's hard to find eight couches, although we've had plenty of people offer um, help and, and places to eat and live and stuff, which is awesome. But we started looking on our own and then um, brothers finally got back to us and said, hey, we've got some units for you guys. Like, Y'all are good to go to move in, which was super great. Even with icy sidewalks and broken elevators, the guys moved into their new place. So that's where we're gonna be spending the rest of the semester as they repair this house, because uh, it's just not livable at this point. As for the state of their lease and any other residents facing problems, brothers said, please note we are doing everything we can. And for some properties, we are somewhat at the mercy of the availability of third party vendors and insurance adjusters. If you find yourself in a similar situation, but none of your maintenance issues are resolved, here are a few tips to help you move forward. To trigger the remedies available to a tenant under the property code, an actual written letter has to be sent. And it has to be sent in a method where you can get um, a return receipt showing that it was received. Sometimes the actual owner of the property doesn't necessarily know exactly how their property management is handling it. If they realize they have a bunch of unhappy tenants, they might adjust the actions of their property management company. The period for repair does not begin until the landlord receives insurance proceeds. So this is where it can really mess up the timeline because this would be a casualty loss situation with this ice storm. According to the Texas Property Code, if your house is inhabitable, you have the right to notify your landlord and terminate the lease if the landlord does not fix anything. For issues relating to water and electricity, you have the right to pay for the issues to be fixed and deduct the cost from your rent. Lastly, you have the right to sue your landlord to have the repairs made and also recover any money damages. Now keep in mind there are additional rules you must follow, so seek legal advice before taking any of these actions. And remember that communication with your landlord is key. We are dealing with a natural disaster. For Lariat TV News, I'm Sarah Gill.